हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिस्क्रीट टाइम फॉरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी व्हिच इज पीरियोडिसिटी पीरियोडिसिटी प्रॉपर्टी स्टेट्स दैट x ऑफ ओमेगा इज पीरियोडिक विद पीरियड 2 पाई व्हिच मींस x ऑफ ओमेगा प्लस 2 पाई k विल बी इक्वल टू x ऑफ omega let us prove this proof from the definition of dt of t we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n let us put omega is equal to omega plus 2 pi k in above equation therefore we can write x of omega plus 2 pi k is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega plus 2 pi k n therefore we can write the above equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n now we can split this exponential term and write so we can write it as exponential to the power of minus j omega n into exponential to the power of minus j 2 pi k n here we can write exponential to the power of minus j 2 pi k n as cos 2 pi k n minus j sin 2 pi k n in this equation cos 2 pi k n will always be equal to 1 and sin 2 pi k n will always be equal to 0 therefore we can say exponential to the power of minus j 2 pi k n is equal to 1 so if we substitute this value in above equation we can say x of omega plus 2 pi k will be equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n into 1 so this is similar to the standard formula of dt of t which is shown in this equation therefore we can say x of omega plus 2 pi k will be equal to x of omega so this is the proof now let us see the second property which is linearity property it states that if x of n for this if we perform dt of t will obtain x of omega and y of n for this if we perform dt of t will obtain y of omega then if we take z of n which is equal to a x of n plus b y of n for this if we perform dt of t we should get z of omega that is equal to a x of omega plus b y of omega so let us prove this proof by definition of dt of t we can write z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity z of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now in place of z of n let us put a x of n plus b y of n therefore we can write z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity a x of n plus b y of n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n now let us multiply this exponential term with these two terms therefore we can write z of omega is equal to 
summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity a x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n plus summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity b y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. So, we can write the above equation as z of omega is equal to in the first term we can take a outside the summation and in the second term we can take b outside the summation. So, we can write a summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n plus if we take b as common we can write that as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. So, in the above equation this term we can write it as x of omega and this term we can write it as y of omega. Therefore, we can write z of omega is equal to a x of omega plus b y of omega. So, this is the proof. Now, let us understand time shift property. It states that if for x of n, if you perform dt of t, we will obtain x of omega. Then, if we take y of n that is equal to x of n minus n naught, for this if we perform dt of t, we will obtain y of omega that is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega n naught x of omega. Now, let us see the proof from the definition of dt of t, we can write y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, in place of y of n, let us substitute x of n minus n naught. So, if we substitute x of n minus n naught, we will get y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n minus n naught into exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, let us put n minus n naught is equal to m. So, from this we can say n will be equal to m plus n naught. If you substitute this in above equation, we will get y of omega is equal to summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m plus n naught. Now, we can split this exponential term and write. Therefore, y of omega is equal to summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m into exponential to the power of minus j omega n naught. Now, let us take this exponential term outside the summation. Therefore, we can write above equation as y of omega is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega n naught summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m. Now, this term is nothing but the standard formula of dt of t. So, we can write that as x of omega. Therefore, we can write the above equation as y of omega is equal to exponential to the power of minus j omega n naught x of omega. So, this is the proof. Now, let us see the next property which is frequency shift property. It states that if x of n for this if we perform dt of t will obtain x of omega then y of n which is equal to exponential to the power of j omega naught n x of n. For this if we perform dt of t we should obtain y of omega that is equal to x of omega minus omega naught. Now, let us prove this from the definition of dt of t we can write y of omega 
is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now in place of y of n let us substitute exponential to the power of j omega naught n x of n. So we can write the above equation as y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity exponential to the power of j omega naught n x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now we can write the above equation as y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. Now we can combine these two exponential term and we can write that as x of n into exponential to the power of minus j omega minus omega naught n. Therefore, from this equation we can write y of omega is equal to x of omega minus omega naught. So, this is the proof. Now, let us see scaling property. It states that if x of n for this if we perform dt of t we will obtain x of omega then if we take y of n that is equal to x of p n at that case for this if we perform dt of t we will get y of omega that will be equal to x of omega divided by p. Now let us prove this proof by definition of dt of t we can write y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now in place of y of n let us substitute x of p n therefore we can write the above equation as y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of p n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Let us put p n is equal to m. So, from this we can say n will be equal to m by p. Now, let us substitute these terms in above equation. We will get y of omega is equal to summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m by p. So, we can write the above equation as summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega by p into m. This is nothing but y of omega. So, in the standard expression we are having exponential to the power of minus j omega n. For this we are getting y of omega. So, here in this expression we are having exponential to the power of minus j omega by p m. So, for that we should get the equation as x of omega by p. So, this is nothing but y of omega. This is the proof. This is about properties of dt of t. We will continue few more properties in next video. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.